Morning, everybody. Grab a cup of coffee and a donut or three, and let's do some switching. Happy Halloween, everybody. Uh, welcome to part four of switching my Chillicothe uh, layout. We're going to switch uh, Miller Distribution, which is the pie-shaped uh, building right in front of you, and ITT Grinnell, which is behind it. So Miller is a beer distributor. Um, notice we opened the gates there. So first thing we're going to have to do is pull the Milwaukee Road reefer from there. And then uh, at ITT Grinnell, we have to, we're pulling the car in spot two and respotting uh, spot one. ITT Grinnell is a plumbing uh, distribution company. So in real life, uh, Miller Distribution was actually on the opposite side of Douglas Avenue, and they didn't share a spur. They each had their own individual spur. So we're just going to spot the uh, car that we pulled from ITT Grinnell on the main line, and then we'll respot the uh, other car, the NW car. I usually don't like keeping a tank car next to the locomotive, but this is all within yard limits in Chillicothe, so there's no rules against it. And the tank car is empty, and this particular car didn't have any really toxic uh, waste in it, or chemicals in it. It's just an additive. Now we've got to get the Milwaukee Road reefer out of the way. And then we can spot the uh, yellow reefer at the door for unloading. The next time you see this on video, uh, the spur for Miller is going to be on the opposite side of the building. And I'm building a loading dock, a concrete loading dock. It won't match the prototype as much as this one does, but um, I get them off the same spur, which wasn't prototypical either.
Okay, we spotted the reefer and we're gonna close the gates and then we can back out of the spur and get the two cars we just left on the main and start reassembling the train to head back to the yard. You can see the uh, one of the ball fields at Mary Lou Patton Park. They actually had an old B&O wood caboose uh, there for years and years, acting as a concession stand and a uh, press box at one of the fields. Uh, started getting really run down. Thought they were going to scrap it, but thankfully the city of Chillicothe got it, moved it uh, downtown on Water Street, and restored it. And it's now home to a railroad museum. Little <laughs> railroad museum, obviously. Uh, very nice uh, job restoring it. So while we're hooking the train back up, I did uh, put a link to the merchandise for the East Terminal Railway in the comments in part two, which was the one I posted on Wednesday. Um, I do everything on my phone, so sometimes it's hard to put links in the comments uh, when you're posting things to YouTube. But if you're interested in buying a sticker or a mug or a hard hat or a t-shirt, it's uh, railroadmerch.com, but the link is in the description of the part two video, which was switching Union Spring. So we're running through the crossover, heading back to the yard. Which in real life, the yard would have been the other way. It's actually west of this area. This is the east end of Chillicothe. But we all have to make compromises. <laughs> so the staging track on the bookshelf it represents the yard. I'm going to stop with the brakeman or conductor, realign the switches, and then we'll head back to the yard. There's two staging tracks in there. They'll hold an engine and maybe seven or eight cars at the most. That's all I need. So we're going underneath Route 23 now. Hope everybody enjoyed the video. Appreciate all the questions and comments and all the new subscribers. 
Uh, it's really been uh, great. So everybody stay safe.